So area of composite figures. So we have area of composite figures. Um, one of the very first things we're going to do is try to deduce what shapes are building these composite figures. This one's not so nice. Um, when we take a look at this one, and luckily there's a line here. I think in your book it's actually like a dotted line there. Mm -hmm. It goes like this dotted line. Um, but what's key here is recognizing how many geometric or common geometric shapes make this up. So if I use a bit of a highlighter, I can notice that here I have maybe it's a square. Mm -hmm. At minimum, it's a rectangle. And then down below this shape, where we have two parallel sides, but they're different lengths because the sides go in, this is known as a trapezoid. Mm -hmm. So we have trapezoid, trapezoid, that's right. And this one, we check. We quickly check the distances of the sides and we realize it's not a square. The, same, the sides are not the same. So this one must be a rectangle. And this question is asking us for area. So what I can do now is I can redraw both of these shapes. I'm going to redraw both of them to figure out what the areas, or redraw them so that we can understand what the areas might be. Okay. This distance here is 50 centimeters, and this height here is 40 centimeters. Okay. So this is the screen part that we've highlighted. Now, area of a rectangle. We can go and check our references because we have little formulas there. But they have uh, a formula that says area of, I'm going to put a little R down there. That means area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. Okay. So we've got to sort out what's the length and what's the width. Well, it turns out it doesn't matter because when we multiply, it doesn't matter what order it is. You always get the same answer. So just as a proof to this, we'll start with this being called the length. And then this will be our width. We go to plug those values in. So we replace L with 40. And we're going to replace W with 50. We do a little multiplication. And it turns out we're going to end up with 2,000. Okay, 2,000 centimeters, that's the unit. And because this is area, or two dimensions, we are squared, or to the power of two. Just as a proof here, if we use the other version, area of a rectangle, length times width, and we reverse them, this was 50. This was 40. You use your calculator, no change in the answer. Mm -hmm. Answer still the same. So I'll give you some peace of mind. It doesn't matter what we mean by the width. Okay. Area of a trapezoid is a little bit different. Why don't you reference your sheet there? I think you have an area of a trapezoid. I'll write it out here. Area of a trapezoid is equal to, I believe it is A plus B divided by is it two? Right, maybe just a yeah, times. The height. Okay. So what we're gonna oh, do? Oh, not the. Uh, yeah, be the swing height. Times the height, or you write it like this. There's a couple different versions of it. Whichever one is more comfortable for you. Um, my version it looks similar to this, but this means the same idea. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is redraw the trapezoid down below, just so we have some reference here. It looks similar to this. I might have made it a little bigger than before. But that's okay because we're doing what's called a scale drawing, which means it's not true length. We're not actually measuring. We're just giving ourselves an idea or a sketch of what it looks like. So our trapezoid here is 20 centimeters at this side. Okay. What's tricky is I don't know what it is on this side here. Is there any information we might be able to use? It turns out that this rectangle above mm -hmm. has the exact same distance over here. Mm -hmm. So in other words, this 50 is the same down here because they're butted up against each other. So when we go take a look at this, we get 50 centimeters. The last piece we got to look at is this. It gave us 70, okay? And this distance here is 40. So we got to use a little subtraction to find the height of this. We have 40, and then the difference here. So we would take 70 and subtract 40, and that would actually give us 30 in this case. Mm -hmm. So that means our height here is 30 centimeters. Okay, and that part is tricky for the composite figures. We had to do some subtraction to solve that piece. So the area of the trapezoid, we go back to the formula, is equal to A plus B over 2 times H. 
The same rule that applies for multiplication applies for addition. It doesn't matter which one we call A or B. Okay, so maybe I'll call the top A and the bottom B. So that when we go to plug into this formula, we get A, mm -hmm. which is 50. Okay, we get B, so we're gonna add B, which is 20. We're gonna divide that by two, and then we gotta multiply by our height. 30. Our height is 30, perfect. So now it's just a little bit of bed mass, trying to sort this piece out. 50 plus 20 gives us 70, mm -hmm. and that's gonna be divided by two. 70 divided by two, we can use a calculator, which is actually gonna give us just 35. Mm -hmm. And that's got to be multiplied by 30. That dot just means multiplication. Yeah. We could put it as brackets if we want. Whatever notation is easiest for you to remember. Okay? And then the very last piece is 30 times 35. We'll use a calculator usually, but this becomes 15, carry the 1, and 10, and this is your other side. You normally would use a calculator to solve that piece, but that gives you 1,050. But because this is area, we use the same units, and because it's two-dimensional, we square it. Mm -hmm. We're not done though. What we've done is we found the area of two separate pieces. This is one of the areas. And then if we go back up, our other area here was, oh, where is my other one? There we go, 2,000. To find the answer to everything, we actually have to add them all together, okay? So we're gonna take our 2,000. So to find the total area, okay? We take the area of the trapezoid and we have to add the area of the rectangle. So we put these in. 1,050 plus the area of the rectangle was 2,000. Again, we can use a calculator and this will give you 3,050. Same units though, because it's area, centimeters squared. So this is actually our final answer. This is the piece that's most important. We solve that. And what I'll do is in another video, I'll go through the circle one because that one was already pretty long. But that's that whole piece. There's quite a bit to doing just one composite shape there. Mm -hmm.